Hey guys, welcome back. Do you want to know how to build things like this? Or like that? For you or your friend, but don't know where to begin? I'll show you how easy this really is by using a 3D printer, and you don't have to have any prior knowledge on how to use a 3D printer to make cool stuff like this. When 3D printers came out, they were really expensive and they were only used by big companies and big tech giants who could afford it. But since it's 2019, they're so cheap that anybody can have one in their household. The one I'll be talking about today is the Monoprice version 2. It's great for the form factor, it's great for the size, and it only costs $200. For $200, you can have your own 3D printer that you can have fun with, learn, and print all kind of cool stuff, and you have to have zero prior experience on how to use it. So let's go. So let me tell you why I bought this printer. Before pulling the trigger, I did some research and I had three criteria things I wanted to meet. Number one, a printer that could print stuff for me for my home projects and just for fun. A printer that wasn't too expensive because at the time I had limited time, limited amount of money. And number three, a printer that was compact in size and small enough that could be put anywhere. And all these three things got met and this is why I purchased the printer. And I gotta say I'm very, very happy with it after a couple years of using it. So here's a printer that I'm talking about. It's about a foot by a foot, but about eight inches, and even has a holder for the filament. So this can fit on any bookshelf, any little table, pretty much anywhere. That's the great part about it. It's so small and so convenient that you can put it anywhere. The size of how big you could print is a 4.7 by 4.7 by 4.7 inch structure. But that doesn't actually stop you. You can build a bigger things out of smaller parts, kind of like Legos. You can print three smaller parts and then put them together. So let me give you a quick rundown of how this printer works. The first thing you do is download the file that you want to print, scale it to the side and save it on the SD card, plug it into the printer and click start, and then enjoy your 3D item come to life. And that is it. This was the first 3D print I ever made that I made on a French printer and this is what got me into 3D printing and come on check this out. All it is is plastic. So for those of you who are new to 3D printers let me just show you a little demo. Right here I'm printing a little small boat which in real time takes about 15 minutes of print but we're just time lapsing so to show you how it functions and how cool it is to see your prints come to life. So I have used this printer as a hobbyist for a couple of years now. It's great for fun to make presents. Actually that leaf earring tree that you saw, I gave it as a present and that person really liked it because instead of keeping the earrings in a box, now they were hanging up on a leaf tree. So if you guys like this video, please hit that like button down below and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to hit that bell sign next to subscribe to stay tuned when I make new videos. Now, I hope you guys like this, and if you have any more questions, please comment down below, and I'll post the links for the 3D models down below and the printer if you're interested in buying. So let me tell you what comes with the printer for the $200 price tag. One, the printer itself. Two, a little small spool of plastic that you can use for a sample print. And three, the software that you could put on your computer, which is by the way free to do your 3D prints. If you want to get more plastic, the plastic usually costs from $15 to $25 per one kilogram of spool. And the price varies by manufacturer or depending what color you can buy. And there's plenty of colors you can choose from. So if you've been interested to get into 3D printing but haven't been sure where to start or what to buy, this is the printer I would recommend. It is very easy to use, it's very small and convenient, and it's very cheap. And the greatest part about this printer, there's so much community support about this, and the company itself is great, that if you have any issues, they'll be willing to work with you to fix it. But I've personally had no issues, nothing broken, so it's been a great time with this printer. And one of the other cool things that I printed, which I thought was very awesome, was a personal bottle opener. And the greatest part about this, I didn't make this, I just downloaded it off that thing of our site that I'm talking about. And it's small and convenient, and the thing you see inside is a penny, but you can put a nickel or a dime, whatever coin you want. And the greatest part about it, it's a keychain. 
So you can put on your keychains and all you have it with you, and it is so tiny, it's convenient. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope this was very informative to you and anybody who's starting to do 3D printing. And if you guys like this video, please once again like, hit that like button and subscribe to my channel, and stay tuned for more because there's more to come and more interesting things I'll be reviewing and talking about in the near future. And I hope you guys have a great day, so good night.